Hi, I'm Jenny, and welcome back to another episode of Orion Update. Today I have joining me Lieutenant Kyle Hagen with the Orion Township Fire Department, and we are here to talk about all things fire. Kyle, I've got a question before we get started, though. Yeah. Have you always wanted to be a firefighter? I have. Absolutely, I have. Okay. Is that what you went to school for right out of, out of high school? So I graduated from Lake Orion High School mm -hmm. and then went to Oakland University, and I graduated with my uh, communication degree, and I couldn't find a job in that field. And I was okay. a paid-on-call part-time fireman here in the township, and I did that all through college, and uh, the opportunity came to get hired full-time, and I stuck with it. So... Ultimately, you're living out your childhood dream of 100%, being a firefighter. 100%. <laughs> well, that's awesome. I'm glad you're able to do that here. Now, I do want to talk about some of the new rigs you guys have. Absolutely. So, Rescue One is behind us. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little it bit is. more about it. So, this is a 2019 Peterbilt by Rosenbauer. This is our big toolbox on wheels. So, this can go to every single call that we have in the township. This will go to structure fires, car accidents, medical emergencies, you name it. If that goes out, if we get toned out for it, this is going to go. Okay, well that's good. I like that you called it a toolbox on wheels. I've never heard that before. So. It is. This is all it is. It's just a big rolling toolbox with everything we need on it. All right, well why don't we take a closer look? Yeah, let's do it. All right, Kyle. This first compartment to me looks like a bunch of life-saving equipment. Like I know what an AED is, mm -hmm. but what in the world is a Lucas? So we use our AED with our Lucas. Our mm -hmm. Lucas is our CPR machine. So if we show up on, uh, at a house with somebody in cardiac arrest, this takes a place of uh, about three people on a scene. So it's actually like doing compressions. This is actually gonna do compressions okay. for somebody. So this allows us to focus more on somebody's airway and breathing. Mm -hmm. We can get somebody else to, uh, to get on medication and make sure they get their life-saving medication that they need. Uh, this is a critical piece of equipment that we have on this truck. So we're really, really lucky and fortunate to be able to have this. Yeah, that's absolutely amazing. I never knew that there was a machine even like that. Yeah, we were super lucky to have it on this truck as well as all of our advanced life support transporting units. Okay. They're on those as well. So no matter what, we always have a Lucas in the township. So we can use that on, on any of the residents that need it. We are very fortunate to be able to have this. And one machine, kids to adults? Yeah. One size fits all for them. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. It is. It's great. All right. Let's go take a look at what else you have. Let's go. All right, so this really is starting to look like a toolbox on wheels. I see a bunch more tools here. Tell us about it. Yeah, so this is our tool board. This is our forcible entry tools, our Halligan and our flathead axe. Mm -hmm. If we have a, a door that we can't get open, we can persuade it with these tools here. And oh, then- A secret compartment. A secret compartment <laughs> opens up. And then we've got even more tools here. More forcible entry tools. We've got our bolt cutters, a sledgehammer, and then a lot of other axes and other, uh, other piece of equipment here. So there's uh, no job too small that we can't get into. All right, awesome. And now right behind me, I see this bright orange bag. What is this for? So that's our RIT pack. Okay. So that is used, uh, that's our rapid intervention team's kit. So if we have a fireman that goes down in a house fire, gets hurt, incapacitated, they can't get themselves out of a house fire, okay. we bring that inside to help them get out of a house fire. Now, what makes that pack different than how you would normally rescue somebody? So all the firefighters, when they go in, they wear their regular air pack. That's, mm -hmm. that's an entanglement hazard for them to get caught okay. up in wires or anything else hanging in a house. Mm -hmm. And if they can't get that air pack out, this is a mobile air pack for them. Okay. So that'll plug right into their bottle or give them a brand new face mask and we can quickly get them out of whatever environment that they're in. All right. Well, I love learning about um, everything you have on this truck, so I'm excited to see more. All right, this looks like we're at the Jaws of Life cabinet now. Um, tell me, what all do you use this for? So obviously, first thing that comes to mind is a car accident. So we have two different sets of equipment. These are our spreaders and these are our cutters. So sometimes if we have a stubborn door that can't get open on a car, mm -hmm. we're gonna use our spreaders. We can get in the door frame and pop that door okay. open to get, in, get access. Sometimes if it's a little too pinned in there, we can't just pop the door open. 
we're going to use our cutters and actually cut the car off, cut the car open and, and open it up so we can turn it into in any car into a convertible. Okay. And now you said that you've used these in a couple of different situations. So besides cars, where else would these come in handy? Yeah, we've actually been able to use our spreaders on a couple structure fires. So we've okay. been able to gain access into a garage door that we were unable to get into. So we were able to put these underneath that garage door, pry it open and lift from that. Uh, it was a really cool application. These are all um, battery operated. We can pop these off. These are just Milwaukee uh, batteries that go on a drill. Oh, so now awesome. they can power our, all of our extrication tools. We're not tethered by cables anymore. We mm -hmm. can use these in a, in a lot of different applications, not just car accidents anymore. So it's, it's great to, to be able to use those. So this is really turning out to be the toolbox on um, a truck. So let's go see what else you have. All right. And I did say, this is a toolbox on wheels. Oh, so you're trying to be a comedian now. I didn't lie. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> all right, so now we're at the back of the truck. Why so many different chainsaws? So each one has a different function and purpose. So this first one here, this is our, our wood boss here, our farm boss saw. So if we have a, a tree that goes across the road, we're able to open up the roads. So that okay. way people can move throughout the township. Uh, this one here is our vent saw. So if we need to cut a hole in the roof to allow those hot gases and smoke to escape the house so we can improve visibility inside of a house fire, this is what this one is for. And then finally, this is our K-12. We have two different kinds of K-12s. Our first one is set up with a, with a metal blade, so that way we can get through industrial sized doors, roll up doors, garage doors, anything like that to gain access. Okay. And then the other one is a wood blade, so we can get through siding, we can get okay. through any large timber construction that we have, so we're, we're ready to go on any type of incident. Now, when you were pulling these out, another thing that caught my eye, what are those um, flat black things back there? Yeah, so those are our airbags. If um, there's a, a vehicle accident with somebody trapped okay. underneath, we can slide those airbags underneath, raise that car off of them to get that okay. patient out. Or if there's a machinery accident, anything that involves a lot of weight on top of somebody, then we can slide those under and lift those up and out of the way to, to get anybody out from a hazard. All right, so you guys have it all on this We're all ready to go. <laughs> All right, now we're on the other side of the truck. Tell me a little bit about what we have over here. Yeah, so we still have our uh, tools to help out with vehicle extrications. We have our stabilization kit. Mm -hmm. So if we have a vehicle that's up on the side or on the roof, we can then stabilize that car to make okay. it safer to work and operate in. We have some cold water suits in case there is somebody that's in the water and trapped. We can put our suits on to go out in the water and rescue them and bring them back to shore. Uh, we have a ton of SCBA bottles, spares, so when we get on a structure fire, mm -hmm. we can swap out our bottles real quick and go back in for another work cycle. Okay. We have a bunch of air packs on here that we can help out with that operation too, going inside of a house fire. We have uh, ventilation fans to help exhaust smoke from a house flashlights, uh, extension cords, you name it, we're going to have it on this truck to be able to help out. All right, so it really is a toolbox on wheels. It is, I told you. All right, so I saw your gear on the other side. I know you guys have to get them on pretty quick. How fast can you do it? So as a department, we train every single year on getting our gear on and our, mm -hmm. our air pack. And our expectation is that you have to get off the truck in full gear and an air pack ready to go to work mm -hmm. in 60 seconds. That's impressive. We try. All right, so the latest addition to your fire fleet are these two boats. And I know that they're different types of boats. Tell me about them. Yeah, so first is our, our white boat here. This is gonna be staying on Lake Orion all summer. So if we have any incident out on the lake, whether it be a structure fire, mm -hmm. uh, water rescue, boat rescue, anything that happens out there, we're gonna be able to mitigate that using the white boat. Now, before you go on, what did you do before this boat? So previously we had to, uh, to kind of hope for some uh, gracious citizens that were willing to allow us to use their boat to go out and mitigate whatever incident happened. 
but now we don't have to, to worry about that issue anymore. We've got our own in the fleet. We can go and take care of whatever incident. Uh, soon to come is gonna be a fire pump that's gonna go on the boat. Mm -hmm. So we'll be able to go out to any of the islands that are around the lake and help out with any structure fires that are there. Now we have the ability to actually go on the islands and rescue people if they're uh, suffering a medical emergency. So this is a huge difference from, from where we came to where we are now. Yeah, that's absolutely incredible. Now the red one, what's that for? So we have 41 other lakes in the township that we're gonna need uh, access to. So that's where the red boat comes in. Uh, the white boat, like I said, is gonna be on the lake all the time. And the red boat is gonna be staged on the trailer, ready to go in a uh, operational ready mode. So if we need to get on any of the other lakes for any other medical mm -hmm. emergency that happens, we're gonna be able to necessitate that with the red boat. Thank you for joining me, Kyle, and showing me around the station and all of the equipment that you guys have. We really appreciate it. And thank you for watching this episode of Orion Update.